Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. This week, it's all about boats. We're going to be messing about in boats, but not boats that go dugga dugga dug. No, boats like this. Really quiet electric boats. I know I've got to press this button, but I don't know what it does. Ah, oh, oh, check out that action. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that does look fabulous. That is very cool. Ooh. It's an electric boat. God, it is, it is so far. I think I was expecting a sort of rowing boat with an electric outboard. Right. This is a little bit, no, little bit is, more upmarket, um, isn't it? Wow, it's beautiful. Classy. It's beautiful. Yes. Wow. <coughs> Very classy. Oh, is that, there's a cabin in there. There is. There's a 23 foot uh, sea for cabin. So there is wow. a oh, look at that. little day cabin. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Enough for a double bed, yeah. two, two seats, or wow. you can swing the table around and sit there and have your meal. Yeah, it's very cute, isn't it? Isn't it? It's extraordinary. Beautifully made, though. It really is. You can see the sort of the, the cabinetry that I was talking is about. It's really um, beautiful, yeah. 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 Wow. So, oh, wait a minute. You're not going to tell me it's on now? It is on. It's been on all the time. That is. Has it been on the? Because I was thinking the engine's been running, as it were, or or, or, or uh, the, uh, yes, the that electric is, motor has that been. That is lied. ridiculous, isn't it? Because I mean, I should be used to the whole notion of electrical propulsion, but I did expect you to sort of go switch, 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 and do. Yeah, I, mean, no, I cannot hear anything. No, that is extraordinary. Isn't it lovely? It's so lovely then to be able to move like that. Because I have been on lots of different boats, and you know, with engines, and they the smoke comes, and that thing. The exhaust that bubbles out under the uh, under the water. Absolutely, the yeah. The cooling, because yeah. it has to be water cooled on a diesel or petrol. But oh, so now, you ooh, can hear the water ooh, moving over the hull. Now. But that is literally the the beauty of it is that yeah, you can hear the water yeah. over the hull. You can hear nature. Yes. I'm just about aware now of a motor running underneath. I'm yeah. Just, but it's barely barely audible, is it? It's beautiful. So tell me about this, and this is, because uh, I, I think I was assuming a kind of conversion, you know, like a, a motorboat that had been converted to be electric, but this one was built. Yes, uh, de de designed that, and built, that built in, in right. Slovenia as a, yeah, as, a, as an out and out electric, electric boat. It, it is available with, with diesel or petrol, but this particular right. one is just battery operated. Right. In terms of the, the range and the distance you can travel in it, is there, is there much of a difference? I mean. It, well, How far can you go in this one? It's a day boat, and you can do, depending on speed and the amount of people on board, eight, eight to ten hours motoring. Um, wow. And it will go maximum ten miles an hour. Right. Um, on, on the River Thames, the speed limit is, is uh, in kilometres per hour, for some unknown right. reason, uh, <laughs> at eight kilometres an hour, right. which equates to about, I, I think, uh, five, five or six, six miles, miles an hour. An hour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it goes faster than the speed limit anyway. So it will go faster than the speed <laughs> limit, uh, sh should you wish. But, yeah. uh, you know, we presently will be doing about probably four knots. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and this is, you know, it, it's a serene boat. Yes. Uh, and you, you don't need to be going much faster. Right. So, yes, uh, and, and eight, eight hours is a long time to be driving any vehicle yeah, or boat. Yeah. You know, so, so you it's know, basically it's, most, it's, it's irrelevant, isn't it? It's though? irrelevant. Yeah. It's, a, it's a day boat. Because yeah. then the other thing I noticed, because that's the thing that you, you know, you're very aware of with electric vehicle, with electric road vehicles, is where you charge them. But all the mooring points have, or not all of them, but most of them seem to have an electrical outlet anyway. Yes. So they're already yes. fitted with that. Yeah. So every every major marina on the Thames or or, or, or South Coast or whatever has these. Um, these electricity 16 amp pods that are similar to campsite pods, right. uh, or, or you can just run a, a, a lead out of your garage, and so yeah, the, yeah there's no there's no fancy um, means of charging. Right. I believe you can get some fast charge um, chargers that will go with this, but right. typically this will just take overnight to charge yeah. up yeah. from whether you've used 10 percent or 90 percent yes. of, of the battery power. So it'll typically use uh, take. Um, six to eight hours or whatever but now we're so we're on the te this is the this Thames is the, we're now we're on the main Thames yep so yep. lovely <laughs> it's just it's yeah. such a treat just, I mean it's a, it's a treat just to go out on the river anyway regardless but it's actually doubly so in this it's just uh, uh, yes it's, yes because it, I mean it's beautifully made as well that's the thing because I think I, I guess I was expecting a sort of old fiberglass slightly broken down barge with, a, with an electric motor strapped on the but I don't know you know yeah, I, yeah, I had yeah. no idea it would yeah. be this 
yeah. the, the quality the, the, of the build is well very good, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yes, yes. No, fiberglass, fiberglass hull. So right. fiberglass boats have been made since the uh, sort of late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, yes, uh, you know, rosewood cabinetry here. There's yeah. a, a small cabin down below. Yes. Um, it'll take up to eight people. Um, right. uh, on board, um, I will only sleep too. Yeah. Um, but but yes, no, it's very very well built. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so you've been at the Henley Regatta. Did you take this down to that? Is that we, where you've yes, been recently? Yes, we did. We we were displaying it because it's only just hit the Thames right. as, as a as a, a new boat um, from Slovenia. Uh, so we displayed it firstly up right. at Henley Regatta, and um, yeah, it, I think it was received very well. Was it? Yeah, I mean, the, I and it, it, so. it suits this sort of um, type of boating on this part of the river. Yeah. Um, the more tidal you get, you get a different type of boating. Right. You know, Port of London will be different yes. again. But um, this this type of boating has been going on for hundreds of years on, yeah. on the river. It's sort of a day launch. Yes. You know, yeah. Um, boat. Yeah. And we're presumably going. We're going against the. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I'm just moving yes, out of the yes. way of this. Um, I think we'll miss each other. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, so the flow is that the flow is going against us the way we're going. It is. It is yeah. going against us. So it's flowing from Lechlade up above us down right. to, to London behind us. So yes, we're we're going against the flow, which will only be running at a couple of knots at the yes, moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the Harleyford stretch of. Um, River in the Holyford Marina that we just left. Right. So we have Hurley Lock um, just above us, and we have right. Temple Lock just below us, right. which are actually two of uh, the closest locks together on the Thames. Right. They're possibly um, un under a mile in between the two of them. Um, so it's not actually a massively long stretch in between right. the two locks, but it's a beautiful stretch. Oh, is that a restaurant, this boat? It is. Oh, yeah, oh. it's a, a barge oh, that's been. Um, Converted into a restaurant yeah. for, for the estate here. It's so relaxing, isn't it? I just, you know, just, I'm not even thinking about anything. It's just nice to it is. poof it along. Is, um, yeah. We sell boats, as you probably see up here, right. anything from uh, 45, 46 foot um, motor cruisers right. with twin screw diesels, um, you know, down, down to down to rowing boats. Right, um, right. But this, this boat I'm particularly passionate about because it's, it's different and, and I, I just. Uh, I, I have a few analogies which I probably wouldn't tell the buyer of a um, of a twin diesel, a twin diesel yes. screw <laughs> um, that will do um, uh, 50 knots and uh, consume an awful lot of diesel yes. and, and whatnot. But but um, there are many here that come down here and, and I liken it to like the uh, if you have a Ferrari uh, that's a hundred thousand uh, pounds, but you drive it down the M4 between Junction 10 and 11 every Sunday, the same stretch at four miles an hour. Yes. And that's in traffic. effect what they're doing with right. with with the with majority these huge, of these right, boats. Yeah, because they're not allowed to go that fast. They anyway, can't go no. that fast anyway. Um, it takes you uh, two days to get out to the port of London, right. really. Um, so the, I don't think they're suitable, you know, for the purpose of, yeah. of cruising the river. I think something river, no, like this no. is. Yes, like, you know, yeah. And the fact that we can hear the the water over the hull. Yeah. We can. Here, nature, see nature. You haven't got that burbling V8, yes. or the vi you, you haven't got any vibration no. that you get in no. any any diesel. Because I think that was the thing when you first started moving it. That's what you you know. Even in, with my limited experience of boats, you're kind of aware that because the, the whole boat's going to yeah. you know because that yeah. engine's running you even if you're not moving. Right. Yeah. And we just started going backwards. There was nothing. There was no indication. It was no. absolutely. And I, in, ter in terms of purchase cost, is there is it? much more than the petrol version of this boat or is it roughly it, the same? It, it is a bit more it, it is about uh, depending on the battery size and the, uh, it, it's about eight uh, seven to eight thousand pounds more more than a petrol for, oh. uh, for an electric version right. of the boat yeah yeah and what, do you think that i'm trying to work out whether that is just <laughs> down to the batteries which i wouldn't think it is i wouldn't think it is but maybe that is the well big no difference. no i mean batteries are um Four new, four new batteries. It's got four uh, silicon AGM type batteries, right. and they will cost approximately um, three thousand euros to replace. Right, and they will take uh, apparently between five and ten years, depending on the right. use of the boat, uh, before they, they need replacing. Um, so, so that's three thousand pounds. You know, if you had a diesel engine, that would be more than three thousand euros for a diesel engine. Yes, if you had to buy a new diesel engine, um, I would assume it would be. But, yeah. but I, I think where the um, where the pointers are for, for ongoing maintenance, etc. I, I mean, in, in very simple terms, 
you don't have to maintain the electric motor on this. Right. It's underwater with um, uh, hanging off the bottom where the propeller is. It's water cooled. Oh, therefore. wait a minute. So the actual motor is outside the, the, the hull of the. Yeah. Of the oh, is yeah, it? Wow. it sticks down through the bottom and it forms. Uh, Looks like a torpedo hanging off the bottom right. of the boat with a. And is that what steers the, the boat as well? And it's what steers the boat as well. So when I turn the wheel, it steers. That's what you. So you haven't got a rudder then behind not, the. Not a separate the, rudder. The, no, the, no, the no, screw. No. Right. So it doesn't need any other cooling, basically. So it doesn't need it. Yeah. So uh, one good thing is you, you don't need to winterize it uh, in our winters. You can right. use the boat throughout the right. uh, the winter. Uh, and then service costs. Within every five to ten years, when you replace the batteries, you perhaps you ought to look at seals and bearings on the electric yeah. motor, which are negligible. But if you were to um, service a diesel engine of a size that would go into here, it would be approximately £400 every year service right, cost. Right. And in 10 years, in effect when the battery runs out on this boat, That's 4, um, pounds, you've got £4,000. Yeah. You're re replacing your batteries in 10 years at the cost of €3,000. Yeah. And it's quite um, possible in 5 or 10 years they'll actually be cheap. I mean the one thing that is, I, I know is the yeah. cost of batteries is falling. In, is it? In, oh yeah, right. very much so. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quite rem I mean in the last 5 years, uh, lithium ion, this is specifically yeah. remarkable drop in. Because right. so they're making more of them and there's a much bigger demand so they're, they're ramping up production and all that sort of, of course, stuff. Of course, yeah. And the other one is what about actual fuel use you know, if you uh, if yeah. you drove you all know if you pilot a boat for eight hours uh, with a diesel engine I don't know how much fuel that uses. I mean yeah. I, I would imagine a boat of this speed and size it's is not going to be that much negligible, but yeah. there, is, there is a cost I, right. I mean uh, we have been uh, told that to charge this overnight for example will cost a, from a, from a virtually flat state would be approximately two pound fifty right but you would be using more than £2.50s worth of, of diesel. Um, to do the same distance, the same yeah, distance. would you? Definitely. You would, right. And I think the key thing is, is that after your five to ten, well, let's say ten years, when the you replace the batteries in this, if you had had a diesel engine, serviced it for ten years, at £400 a yeah. year, that's £4,000, you ultimately still have now a ten-year-old engine with worn-out parts, yes. uh, or worn parts, sorry, not worn out, uh, in a diesel engine, and yeah. you have a ten-year-old engine. Yeah. With this, you uh, in ten years, you put new batteries in, and you now have a, a, virtually, a, a new, virtually new boat. Yeah. You may, yes, perhaps do the bearings and the seals on the motor, which won't be very expensive. Yeah. And you've you've got a new boat. Yeah. Uh, and the next ten years, the same happens. Right. And of yeah. course, as you say, if the battery cost decreases, yeah. then 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 um, so be it. It gets even cheaper. So the geese got out of the way. They don't think they don't think they even knew we were coming. Sorry, no, the, sorry. Uh, Egyptian geese. They are Egyptian yes. geese. Would you like to have a go driving? Right? Oh well, yeah, I would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, shall, uh, I, don't, I don't think I should drive into the mooring. I think that would be a bit dangerous. Okay. <laughs> oh, how cool is that? Oh. So, just gently push the throttle lever forwards. I suddenly, suddenly I'm not. I'm suddenly not relaxed. <laughs> oh, I, I can feel now. You feel I get, the power I get a bit of turn. On. So you need a bit of power to be able to. It's fairly to obvious. Give to give the to steerage. Yeah. Uh, you do. Well, now I'm going a bit too far. You can see the gauge in front of you is showing um, a, a power oh, that uh, one there. usage thing. So you, you've got the first half of it is green, and as you uh, as increase you, the red, oh, I see it goes it yellow, yellow, yeah. and then goes into red, um, and it shows you the amperage the, of power that you're right. you're using. And is that the battery level, the other one? It, on the right hand side, yeah, so it's because probably showing 100%. It's, it's showing 100%. We, we've just left um, <laughs> the, the mooring, but yes. We you can, if you push it. it through, if you just go straight okay. through, go straight down. That, that, that most of that is the motor is the, rather that, than uh, the right, vibration. Is, right. But you've just picked up the vibration on the way through. So. Right. But this is your 10 miles an hour, your maximum Yes, we're speed. breaking the speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be people writing letters. Get into that more. So shall I turn it around that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, right? that, that way will be fine now. Uh, I've also to know if anyone's coming behind, behind me. No. I think not. Right hand down. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, battery gauge is very interesting because, you know, we've not been going that well. 25, 30 minutes we've been doing it, but yeah. it hasn't, it hasn't gone down a, a notch. No, I, I, I think you, you, you'll, we could you'll be, be doing out, this, we uh, could be doing this for hours before and hours you, before, before you, you saw see, anything. See, yeah. Yeah, no. So it gives you great confidence actually when you're when you're skippering, yes. skippering it that you. Uh, but also you can tell because I mean, if you think of if we'd driven this far in a, in a relatively sort of even a suburban area in a car, yeah. it, we would have accelerated, decelerated, accelerated, decelerated, you know, forty times. Whereas in this, once we're doing this, it's staying at a regular yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. regular revolutions, isn't it? It's not. I, I, I think that, that that is absolutely true. I mean, it, and and if you so uh, excluding the flow of the river, the the, the amount of. Uh, 
uh, water you've got against you. But yes, if you go so far up stream uh, and don't use more than 50 percent you yes, will get you home can get home because yes, exactly. you will yeah, not yeah. be uh, deviating very much no. on your speed yeah. i can appreciate on a car you have little control over yes. traffic jams You've got traffic and, jams, uh, hills, whatever hills, wind uh, yeah other <laughs> other motorists yeah yeah no we should just it would be great i want to turn the m4 into a canal It'd be great wouldn't it that'd be lovely if, it, if, we, if we, everyone traveled by boat it, it would be it would be <laughs> yeah It'd be a great way wouldn't it I'm going to let you dock. Take her into the Take her yes. into the mooring. <laughs> that, okay. That would be very embarrassing to hear a sort of crunch of expensive fiberglass against concrete. I don't want to be responsible for that. Shall we uh, swap over when swap you're ready? Swap it, swap it, swap it. So, okay. Driven an electric boat. <laughs>